With planning anything in containers, you want to keep one valuable piece of information in your mind. The larger the container, the more water that container is going to retain with the soil in it, the smaller the container, the quicker that container is going to dry out and the sooner your plants are going to die. We're going to plant some Detroit red beets in the two round containers as well as the rectangular container. This has all got good, fresh, organic compost in it. And it's just basically the same concept as you would if you put it tra traditionally in the ground. Now, with the round containers, you want to remember that you want your end result harvest. You want to plant in that type of grid. If you want your harvest to be about the size of baseballs, then you only want to plant so much. Let's see, for this one, if we had uh, one, two, basically only four beets are going to go in there if they get the size of a baseball. Now, obviously, the smaller you, the, the denser you pack these things in, the smaller your end result will be. So we'll get four in this one, four in this one. This one here is going to be a little more, you're going to get a few more in here because you're going to get uh, two rows, one, two, three. I can get eight in that one. So four, four, and eight, that is 16. So we'll have 16 beets, and you want to be sure you keep these things watered. Just real easy. You plant them the same way you would as you would in the ground. All right, let's have the last one. Cover them up. And be sure you water them in real good. And in about 67 days, you're going to have some very nice beets if you remember to water them. To see all of our Straight to the Point video series, you can go to our website, which is thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and you click on the Straight to the Point icon.